This April is April Daffodil Month. It's an annual fundraiser that's national. The reason we have daffodils is because daffodils are a sign of hope, courage, and resiliency. We're hoping to raise on Vancouver Island $200,000. It's gonna be a huge campaign for us and we're really looking for help. One of the biggest ways people could help out is doing the door-to-door -door canvassing. That gives us an opportunity to go out into the community and talk directly to the public, let them know what our funding is doing, how we're helping people. And a typical canvasser will go to about 20 to 30 houses in their own neighborhood. They can also canvass outside of their neighborhood if there's a preferred area in town that would suit them better. Just to give you an idea, there's 850 routes in Nanaimo and we currently only have 50 of the routes filled. So there's a huge need. It's hard to recruit volunteers for this type of work because it's not always comfortable. Because of that, we do have other options. You can volunteer as a door-to-door -door captain, which means that you're delivering and picking up kits from canvassers and just checking in with them throughout the month to see how they're doing. And we also have online canvassing this year, which we're really excited about because it's giving people the ability to still reach out for donations without having to go door-to-door -door if that's not comfortable for them. We also have our pin boxes and retailers and we do street teams as well. So we are also having our April Daffodil Tea and Fashion Show so that's going to be held on April the 8th at Bevan Park. So in the year 2016 to 2017, Vancouver Island helped 1,745 people with our services. Locally, we have our wigs and prosthesis room um, in our Nanaimo office as well as across the Vancouver Island community offices. We also have a huge informational resource center which gives information on different cancers, prevention, living with cancer. Um, we also do uh, free transportation to treatment in Victoria in partnership with the Freemasons. We have a lodge in Victoria for people who need to stay overnight. We also have support groups in the office and the Look Good Feel Better program, which is for chemo patients to come and learn some beauty care uh, tips for while they're undergoing treatment. This is a way that you can get involved and make a contribution and feel like you're fighting back against cancer so that we can one day live in a world that we can say cancer does not exist.